when the customer says, can you put a Claxton horn on it? You know it's going to be a fun build. This is Robert and Ben's sociable tandem build. <laughs> One of the great things about building custom bikes for adaptive cycling is you meet a lot of people who are overcoming their difficulties through innovation and this build is a prime example of that. The client Robert is vision impaired and really loves cycling and wants to share the joy of cycling he has with his teenage son Ben, not me. The solution he came up with and approached us about was a sociable tandem, that means side by side tandem, where his son is actually the driver and he is the passenger. Uh, the sociable format means they can be close together and can interact and they can have their own gears and brakes quite easily. It also creates a really interesting dynamic and uh, ma maneuverable vehicle. It has heaps of steering lock and very very maneuverable can do a very tight turn. Now the intended location to ride this is some of the inner urban bike paths of Melbourne and a vehicle of this size could be quite ungainly if it wasn't maneuverable. The other very strict design specification Robert gave me was an overall width of one metre, which is a real challenge for a sociable tandem. However, with the inline wheels format that we've chosen with this build, uh, it actually meant we could meet that, that criteria and actually have enough room for the two riders to sit by side. This means it can make it through bollards at the end of bike paths, it means it can do the turns on the bike paths, uh, and it means that you can enjoy a lot of the locations that he would have normally done uh, on any other bicycle. I hope you dig this build. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and tell your friends about us. Uh, and also check out some of our other builds on our blog on the uh, on the Tri Sled website. Cheers!